what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so man this go home show for the royal rumble was pretty damn good man triple h cooked tonight for monday night raw shout out to everyone that was a part of the live stream reactions we had a great time there were some great matches a fantastic promo segment with cm punk and cody rose my god if that segment don't hype you up for the royal rumble i don't know what will and we also had to figure out what seth rollins future was going to be since you know he's dealing with an injury and that's what they started off the show with they started off with uh seth rollins addressing his injury uh, the injury he had um last week when he faced uh gender mahal and he came out there with a knee brace and <clears throat> it seemed like he was getting emotional like he he started to you know his eyes started to get a little a little watery as the crowd singing his theme song and and chanting thank you rollins and i like what he did with this promo because obviously this is a very serious injury so he kind of he kind of led into it he he was kind of going in this direction as if he may have to miss wrestlemania and may be gone from uh wrestling for a while so he's basically talking about the injury talking about how he has an mcl uh mcl tear and how you know he may he's gonna have to get surgery and he's gonna be out for some months maybe three to four months potentially and right before he said if he was gonna be able to make it for wrestlemania that's when you hear the imperium music you have gunther everybody's out there with him that's part of imperium and he walks down to the ring they his henchmen stand outside the ring he gets inside the ring and i like what they did here because this if i'm not mistaken is the first time that gunther and seth rollins have actually interacted with each other and it's involving the world heavyweight championship and he came out there and he 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 showed his you know he showed his respect. He said, you know, you're you're a fighting champion. You've been a fighting champion. You brought you have brought prestige to that world heavyweight championship. And I know what that's like because I'm a fighting champion. I've brought prestige to this Intercontinental Championship. And he said, it sucks because it would have, you know, it it would have been a, a very interesting situation, you know, since you're not gonna be able to make it to WrestleMania, because you know, I'm gonna be in the Royal Rumble. I am going to win the Royal Rumble match and I was going to look forward to beating you for that uh, World Heavyweight Championship. And Seth um, said, well, before you interrupt it, uh, you didn't get a, let me speak what I had to say or say what, you know, let you know what I had to say. I wanted you to know and wanted everyone to know that I will be there for WrestleMania I will go into WrestleMania as the champion and will walk out of WrestleMania as the champion. So if you do win the Royal Rumble, then you're going to have to go through me. And I like Gunther's response. He's like, oh, that's great news. I love that. That's awesome. I just want you to understand that I'm, I'm going to go after your knee. I'm going to go after your bad back. I'm going to go after everything that's not 100% to break you and take that title from you. And his response was, all right, I respect that. Do what you got to do. Just remember who you're going to be going after, Seth Rollins. And Gunther said, just remember who's going to be coming after you, Gunther. And I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. It was fantastic. They... It's just a little tease. And it's all still revolving around the Royal Rumble. I love that, bro. That was so good. And then they went right into a segment with uh, the New Day. Because, you know, they've had beef with Imperium. you got a serious uh, Kofi Kingston and a serious, um, uh, serious uh, Xavier, Xavier Woods. And they brawling. Before the match to even start, they had a tag team match. It got ended in a disqualification. They start brawling all over the arena, and it ended in a both of them falling through a, a, a table spot. And I love the intensity. 
I love that they're serious because obviously Ludwig, um, Ludwig took out Kofi not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, and Kofi accidentally took out Giovanni. So there's beef here, and then Xavier's trying to stick up for Kofi. I love when they're serious. And there was a backstage segment after the brawl, and he's like, yo, I'm, they've gone too far, and it's not going to stop with just them. And then he challenges Gunther next week on Monday Night Raw after the Royal Rumble to, uh, um, for the Intercontinental Championship. He says, I'm going to stop Gunther. So that should be a good match. Looking forward to that. Love what they're doing with the New Day. Love the seriousness. I honestly would love for them to have a blow-off match at the Royal Rumble this uh, Saturday because that I, they have made me interested in New Day versus Imperium. They've made me interested in it, and I'm here for it. Um, So let's get to the, the meat and potatoes, which y'all been wanting to talk about in this particular video. This is going to be the talk of the wrestling uh, town all the way to the Royal Rumble. CM Punk and uh, Cody Rhodes promo. They've been hyping it up all week. This, well, since last week, this was everything I expected it to be. If you have not watched this promo segment, go watch it. This is how you build towards a, a Royal Rumble match. This right here. I want y'all to understand when you're watching this promo segment, watch the crowd. The crowd is literally standing up the entire segment. No one sitting down on a hard cam side. And they were listening to every single word. I knew they we were about to get, we were going to receive a five-star meal on how they cook tonight. Both of these guys are very fantastic at talking on a microphone and selling a match. And this was just equally as fantastic. Soon as both got in the ring, they shook each other's hand. CM Punk started off. He talked about his father. He talked about how much he respected him. He talked about how his father uh, wanted him, CM Punk, back in the day to look out for a young Cody Rhodes. And he told him, and he, and he, and he always treated Cody with respect. He never treated him as this person that had this silver spoon in his mouth because he's a his father was a famous wrestler. He treated him with re respect. And Cody, you know, gave him the same respect too. He's like, you could have treated me so bad because you had been in a wrestling business 10 years prior to. And I'm just, you know, the kid of a famous wrestler. Didn't know what to do, but you treated me with respect and I appreciate that. So it started off with pleasantries. They said we're friends and everything. But then CM Punk turned it up. He let it be known. He's like, I know we're friends, but when it comes to this Royal Rumble stuff, I'm actively going to look for you. And I'm actively going to do whatever I can to throw you out. And I hope you're able to separate the personal and the business side of things when it's all said and done. And you can tell the tension starting to, to kick up. And even CM Punk, he puts it into a, a overdrive. He doesn't waste no time. He lets it be known. He's like, your father, you know, son, son of son of a plumber, you know, he he was the American dream. He he built his name and legacy off that. Everyone knew who your father was. No one knew who my dad was. My dad was an electrician. If anything, I guess you can say. I'm more of the American dream than you. And that's, that's what triggered Cody. And that's when I knew. Once he said that cold ass line, I'm more of the American dream than you. Oh, I owe business picked up. So that's when Cody was like, all right, since we're doing this, let's talk about that infamous pipe bomb. And then CM Punk, like he used to do with the pipe bomb, he took off the WWE logo on the microphone, threw it down. He, we're here now. People, they're starting to ooh and all now. So he's like, that infamous pipe bomb, what you said, it changed the wrestling scene, which it did. It shook waves. People were inspired by that pipe bomb. I was inspired. And then afterwards, you left. And then that was it. You dropped the torch. No one else was able to 
pick it up, nor did you care for anyone to pick it up, but you knew who picked it up. I picked it up. And everything that you said in that pipe bomb, I did. So in in an essence, well, in a sense, if we're going by what you just said, then it would only make sense that I'm more CM Punk than you are. And I was like, oh, that was fantastic. Love that rebuttal. He basically saying everything you said in that pipe bomb, I actually did. You said it. I did it. I'm more CM Punk than you. Fantastic. Now he's taking off his jacket. Now we're getting real, real personal here. They're getting close to each other on the microphone. He's like, look, man, you've carried the company on your back. For two years now. And you, you're trying to finish your story. But look. In Horizon. What is that? That's a much bigger star. Here to take your spot. And that bigger star is. Me. CM Punk. Now some can take that as a jab. At The Rock too. And you can really look at it both ways. So I thought that was a very interesting way. How he said that. See, there's a much bigger star on the horizon to take your spot. That's me. When in actuality, it may be The Rock. We don't know yet. So, once he said that, Cody responds with a, that's fine. That, that may be well and true. But when we get to the Royal Rumble, it's plain and simple. And all the obstacles I got to go through, including you, I will go through. He dropped the mic. And as he walked past, he shoulder bumps him. Like, I got to go through you. I will. To finish my story, to do what I got to do, I will. CM Punk pulls him back, and they have a nice face-to-face. -face. They, they, they get in each other's face. They don't really say nothing. It looks like they're about to throw blows. And then they separate. Crowd gets real amped up. Because I, you think CM Punk's about to hit him, but they just... Get real close to each other. Don't say a word. They go opposite uh, ways in the ring. And CM Punk even comes on top commentary for a little bit. He said, hey, you're winning on the 2024 Royal Rumble, CM Punk. You guys better bet on me. You guys should bet on me. Fantastic. Crowd was eating every single thing they were saying. This was fantastic. This is what WrestleMania season is about. This promo right here. And I said this during the live. They have to be the last two. That's it. They have to be the last two in the Royal Rumble. This story right here is fantastic. What they've created. They have to be the last two in the Royal Rumble. CM Punk. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes trying to finish his story. Trying to do the back-to-back -back years. It hasn't been done in a while. A, a Royal Rumble winner winning back-to-back -back years. Trying to finally right the wrongs of last year. CM Punk trying to finally finish his story and main event of WrestleMania. Coming back to the Royal Rumble. The same Royal Rumble he left WWE when he was last in 10 years ago. It's all come full circle. Both have stories that they need to finish. Both have real reasons, logical reasons of why they need to win. All the main event WrestleMania. They need to be the last two in the, rest, in the Royal Rumble. Simple as that. This was fantastic. I implore you, you missed it. You missed anything else on the show. Watch that segment. And you will, if, if it doesn't hype you up for the Royal Rumble, nothing else will. Comment down below, let me know. Did you guys enjoy that promo? Are you guys just as hyped as I am for what we are about to see in this year's Royal Rumble? Because this, I was already hyped. I'm, I'm up there now. I am. I can't wait. I haven't been this excited for a Royal Rumble in some time. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get this going. Let me know if y'all feel the same way I do. Because this was great. I can't wait till Saturday. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still young. Speed the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See you on the next one. Peace.